Hi, my name is Ru Hong. I'm an associate professor in Banking and Finance Department, Nanyang Business School, NTU, and I'm also the research director for Center of Excellence International Trading, CEIT, in NTU. So the climate change, especially for global warming, imposes the imminent and the long-run threat to the economic development and the well-being of uh, all of us. So I think it's a very important uh, topic and the carbon emission is the main cause of the global warming. So I wanted to understand how the government policies could reduce the carbon emission. So both carbon tax and carbon trading are the main government policies to reduce the CO2 emissions. So carbon tax normally is imposed on energy firms, for example, based on um, how many carbon emissions they have. So for example, in Singapore, right now the carbon tax is $5 per ton of CO2 emission. So the carbon trading system is a cap and trade system. So the government will impose the total cap on the emission and each firm, they have different quotas. So if you need to emit more than your quota, you need to purchase the carbon emission permit in the financial market. So from our research, we find that carbon tax and the carbon trading system both work very well to reduce the CO2 emission, but the carbon ETS system works better. The main reason is that we find that the firms will switch to the renewable energy under the carbon ETS system, but not under the carbon tax. So although in our research, we think the carbon ETS system works better, but for Singapore as a city state, the carbon tax is a more practical way to combat, to reduce the carbon emission um, because for the ETS system to work, you need a lot of participants. So you need to bring in more countries into the system for it to work. So first of all, we need to increase our awareness of the threat imposed from the climate change or the global warming, for example. So that's very important. And we need to bear in our mind that as the individual, we can also play a very significant role to protect our planet. For example, reduce your carbon footprint in your daily activities.